Hey guys, Tony from Explode Creative here. I've been playing a little game all morning I made up called Feud Noodling. And um, basically, I, I just let Google Feud tell me what to draw. So I'm going to pop over to the names, no, yeah, the names section. And I'm going to use the, same, the first prompt as the person I'm going to draw. So Thomas Rett. Thomas Rett. Uh, country singer. Okay. Thomas Rett. Let us begin, please. Right, I'm going to select a, a nice three-quarter view of his face. I guess this will this will do. Let's let's start this up. All right. I'm going to start the timer. I'm not going to sketch. I'm just going to get straight into the inking. For you guys. Now I'm putting out his chin a fair bit because uh, it seems to me like his chin is quite large in this image. Only because I can't see much of the top of the head. Now, doing, going straight to your inking is, is pretty touch and go for beginners and you know I, I really just It took me a while to kind of be able to even pull off an okay result without doing a sketch first. Um, it, ju it just took time and practice, really. That's all. But I mean, even I, you know, I, I get hits and misses with this all the time. Do a little section in the hat up there. You know, his hair kind of sticks out like a someone whose hair sticks out. Ooh. I'm smashing those simulates today. And now I'm going to start thinking about where I'm going to put those eyebrows. So, see this little bump here I've put in the side of the face? That's that part is eye level for me, that part is the eyebrow level for me. So the eyebrows kind of come up over the the top of that little ridge. Now this guy's got some pretty thick eyebrows. I'm gonna thick them up. I'm gonna come back and color those in properly later on. But, um, because this, this Sharpie's starting to run out of ink. Actually, no, I'm going to get the um, my Pentel N50. Let's color this in. <clears throat> I guess the reason I'm doing it in pen and paper today instead of the, the usual digital stuff is that I find pen and paper more free-flowing. It's It seems less restrictive, even though you know, you can colour things really easily in the digital world in Photoshop or Illustrator. Pen and paper, it's just more fun. And that comes through in the drawings, I think. Now I'm checking out the bridge of his nose here and I'm checking out, oh yeah, alright, well in this picture it kind of comes down to a point and then spreads back out. So every, every time, every single um, feature I'm drawing, I'm really observing these things and not trying, at least trying not to uh, fall back into my old habits of how I always used to draw noses, but I'm actually trying to draw what his nose looks like. Okay, so he's gonna have a big old smile happening here. Let's start up some, actually I might just, I might just uh, figure out where I'm gonna put the mouth first. Doing a big smile like this 
usually plays pretty well to people you're drawing in a live situation. And instead of drawing all the tooth detail, I just draw a couple of lines like that most of the time. Because I don't know, I don't, I don't find the tooth doing all the teeth to be very flattering. It looks kind of like a donkey to me. And you know, this is all personal preference. All right, back to the Sharpie. Let me see if I've got... No, I don't have any Sharpies that aren't running out. All right, we'll just keep going with this. I like to put, pull things off the head whenever possible. Like if I was gonna pull the eyebrows off the head. It just adds some, some comic effect. Which eh, sometimes is lacking in my drawings. Or, or sometimes, you know, I just, I just want more. <laughs> more, more style, more comic -iness. my pen tail, I'm just gonna start drawing in what's going on with this beard. Bigger though, but that's okay. I'm gonna draw that necklace now. How I draw neck chain necklaces, I just do dots. And you'll notice I, I left the eyes till last, just because that's that's my main challenge is, is eyes. Um, If I screw up the eyes, like if I'm in a, in a hurry at the start and I screw up the eyes at the start, it just takes the whole thing down and I can't really, um, can't really save it after that. But if I leave the eyes till last and all this time I've been drawing this and thinking, hey, you know, this is really working, this is looking like him, uh, then I can have a go at the eyes at the end and really just sink my teeth into it. Make sure I get it right. Oh, let's have a look at his eyes now. He's got eyelids. He's got squinty, not, not particularly squinty eyes, but his eyelids are kind of heavy, so let's... You know, I'm gonna make the decision that I'm gonna make his eyes small-ish. And only because his eyebrows are quite big and his nose, his mouth is quite big. So, you know, I, you don't want to go making everything on his face big. So he might as well put his, put his eyes down so that they can uh, shift priority to... Shift priority to the other features that are more noticeable on his face. Now, I just did half moons for the eyes. And that seems to have worked. Works for most people, really. Okay. So we're on eight minutes. Thirty. So far. It's colouring in the hair, leaving a little bit of white edge between the hair colour and the edge of the hair for sort of a key light effect. Oh, I forgot my, my favourite little line here. There we go. For the form of the nose. I like that line. 
Um, yeah, well, alright, well, I guess I'll leave it at that. Nine minutes, guys. Um, yeah. That's Thomas Rhett, I suppose. Probably put some more stubble in here. There's always something, you know, you, you look back after you've finished and you go, oh, you know, I missed, missed this. It's okay, though. No, I'm practicing, you're practicing. The pros are practicing as we speak. No one has this down pat 100%, really. This is a really subjective art. Personal taste. It's not like portraiture where you have to get it exactly right. It's all down to port personal taste. Just like music, really. Which makes this so fun. Here we go, I'm going to leave it at that, and I'll talk to you in the next video. See ya.